is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. I want to tell you, I've been listening to you since your radio days back in 99. Appreciate what you guys do. But what I really enjoy that you brought back to Award. This guy is as smart as a whip. I'm I am so feet. happy for that feedback. Yeah, because he's one of a kind. He's got to be the number one market timer. I'm telling you, it's like he calls it really, really he, good. He does. I really appreciate the feedback, man. Yes, yes. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and let's make it a great ellipse. The ellipse is happening right now all across the country. Some get a lot, some get a little. Love is unconditional. And love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason, with no justification. You are free to be who you are and allow others to be what they are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up five, NASDAQ up 11, SPs up two. Gold, gold contract up $12, trading at 23.57 an ounce. Excuse me, folks. Silver up 30, 43 cents, $27.93 an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat. $86.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 12 ticks, trading 109.08. 30-year F11 at 117.06 in King Dollar. King Dollar, come on, baby, where is she? King Dollar trading down 155 ticks at 104.142. Euro 108, yen 151, British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This market, man, is a trip. There's no two ways about it, man. So you get a sideways move out here today. You have 30 million shares traded, which is a huge contraction of volume. So when you, when you take a look, this Friday, this Friday kicks off earnings, J.P. Morgan, the bank. And then when you take a look at this, what you're going to see is that we have a lot of high volume Lows, folks, all the way back to January 31st. How's that? And they're going to get tested, man. <laughs> you know, the real question is when. <laughs> and so we're on a Monday. I suspect that we're gonna, what we're going to see here. Whoops, come on. Give me that one. Why don't we do this right there? There it is. Okay. You know, the, the SPY is at 519. The gap on the SPY is 497. The first high volume low is 482, and the high there was 489. The real question is going to be, okay, did we get up a little bit higher, test, fail with price and volume? And then if we look at the calendar, so... What you have by the calendar here, let's go look at this for a second. So we're on the 8th. The 12th starts earnings. We're, we're, we're in the time frame that you just might be able to get a pullback. So the S&P bottom line wants down to those levels. Now, let's go to the Qs, because the Qs are stronger. The, the Qs, in fact, on Friday were pretty amazing. That we went down to 57 million and we came back up with 53. Now today, different ball game, 21. And if we take a look at the cues, you're gonna have the same type of setup. Where's the first one? There's the first one right there. So in the cues, the gap is at 425 and we're at 440. And the high volume low is at 416. You know, so I suspect what we're gonna see here also 
is we're going to try to test one of these days from last Friday or Thursday. Because what we've all already done, we've already tested the highs with tremendously lighter volume. If we take a look at the Qs, the first high at 72 million, the second high came in at 39. That's a market that wants to correct. So. And then we go to the gold contract. We go to the gold contract next. We take a look at gold. This is on the C to D leg of an ABC structure up and it's straight line moves and boys, you talk about a straight line move. This is about as straight as you can get. So picture, once this, this move started, this move started on March 27th at 2180. And we're $200 over that right now. And that was in uh, five, 10 trading days. You know, 2550 is coming at us. Now, that, now that's a one to one ABC structure on the way up. Now, let's go to Silva because Silva is finally acting up. It's screaming, yelling, all of the above. It has volume behind the move. Let me do this. SI1. I got to put this on a generic shot for a second. Okay, then we take this. And first, I'm going to put it on a five year weekly. Okay, so you can see we broke the consolidation. And when you break, you know, the bottom line, we broke the consolidation with wide price spread, accelerated volume. So right now, this is on the run to 30 bucks. We're at 27.94. Now let me pull this back a little. Yeah, so 30.35 is game. And let me just do this here for a second. Let me see how this one came out. Curious. I think this was too much of a retracement. Yeah, it was. Okay. So next stop on Silva, you get 30, 35. Now here's the kicker, which is really going to be a trip. If we get volume, like we've had volume right here, we blow this away, you're going to see Silva take off like a rocket ship because what, ha what has happened is this, is that we're coming into... And we have been in, this, would, this is why silver's taken so long to move, major resistance. You're coming into where silver had traded from September of 2011 all the way over to February of 2013. So two full years. This is where this traded. But guess what? We're busted into it, and we're busted into it good. So that's saying, number one, you're going to get up into this 30-35. And how we get there is going to be a big deal, because if we get there with force, like the silver contracts have been trading right now, you will get to $37, $44, and then we'll go after its high of $49. So we are going to be seeing some action, because if that's what you get, when silver starts moving like that, they, those silver stocks are going to go to the moon. I mean, to the, to the moon in a monster way. We're going to take a look, look at a couple of them. We, we take a look at Heckler first. You're going to see Heckler, you know, they've, they've all moved pretty much, like amazingly. Yeah, Heckler's almost doubled. We went from 332, right now you're, you're trading 549. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, 
It has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. A Dow down just is up 27. Nasdaq's up 20. S&Ps are up five. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. <clears throat> now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side under Featured Content. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Um, you have, you'll get, Steve has a huge amount of tools that he uses, plus workshops that he's did. All of that comes with Mastering Probability. Check it out here and now. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I don't know what it was like in Tampa this weekend, but it was, I would like a, a repeat of uh. the weather. And and then all the just the great sports around, but we're having just beautiful weather down here, you know, no humidity is in it, the 70s. It's, it's a, a beautiful thing. It's extraordinary. It's totally extraordinary, folks. It really is. <laughs> yes, it's great. So I just wanted to keep continuing. I, so I caught on Saturday, uh, we went and caught a, a jazz band. Uh, not anybody that I had known. I, I, I Every now and I hear a couple songs of his on uh, uh, Satellite. Uh, I forget the name of the... A jazz station watercolors i think is what it is guy yes. named eric darius so i didn't know anything about him eric turns darius. out tom he's a neighbor of yours he is i know eric i oh, think oh, listen oh, to this eric darius this is crazy man bridget and i we saw eric darius when he was with his father like 10 oh, years ago that's and, cool. and, and listen to this folks and he's a star now and he was in the middle of an alleyway playing is that cool or what oh, yeah that's and then great. He, he got big quick over here okay that okay. is so cool, Steve. Wow. Yeah. And, and he was, uh, his drummer is from Orlando. Okay. I think the bass player or maybe the, the uh, guitar player is also from uh, uh, the Tampa area. So it was a, it's cool, you know, a Central Florida band. Yeah. And it just, it was just great to see. I was like, small world out there. It's, and, and then he's and talented, then, you know, isn't he? He's oh, in, very, yeah, very much so. Yeah. He's you probably know, like, I think he's probably like 28 now, maybe, huh? 30 maybe I, you know i don't don't know yeah. his don't know his age yeah. but but uh really was a a great show so it's nice to nice to see that and then yesterday there was such great sports on even on saturday actually i, I the, know the the girls the girls masters 
um, you know, where you got college kids that are playing. I mean, it was the most amazing uh, set of events. You, first, you had one girl who uh, came, who shot a six under, I think it was six under par at um, at uh, Augusta. No bogeys, which is amazing. Wow. This this coming weekend, she could sell that round to every pro yes. that's out there, and uh, and then and uh, so 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 this girl shoots six under. She ends up losing. To a girl from uh, from FSU from Florida State who had to birdie three of the last four holes to go on and win. It really was extraordinary. And then and then following that, uh, one of your neighbors, uh, Nellie Corda, she's up in your area. She wins her fourth tournament in a row. It was really. And then you had the the women's um, uh, NCAA you know right. final game. Uh, it was it was a great weekend. So I'm looking forward to tonight's game. Uh, and, you know, so hopefully that's and then that's we get the Masters game. right. Yeah, and then we get the Masters so, for this coming week. So, so the, gonna... this is going to be pretty wild, man, because I'm getting used to now from watching PGA, I'm getting used to all these new names, right? Yeah, true, and true. It's going to be yeah. intriguing when they both get back together, right? I mean, for the Masters, because that's what they do, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, so the Masters will allow anybody who, who's won the tournament, so it doesn't matter what tour you're on, you know. So, okay. so some of those some of those guys from the Live Tour will, uh, will be there. Mickelson, I'm sure, will be there. Right. And, you know Dennis John, uh, Johnson and, and a number of other players will okay. will certainly uh, DJ will be there and and uh, uh, so but so the Masters has been kind of cool about that they're like hey look if you win this tournament you can come here forever right which is should so, be yeah right. yeah yeah exactly exactly so on top of that then we got the solar eclipse I know so as I, we're speaking <laughs> right <laughs> exactly exactly I, I went out in my backyard and uh, we got these little glasses it was pretty cool to actually see I mean you don't see it. If you just look up at the sun, but you put the glasses on, and then you can kind of see the crescent moon. Uh, look uh, at that, that. That shape. Yeah, it's just really pretty uh, cool out there. But uh, what I thought we would do, at least for the first couple yeah. minutes here, is take a look at uh, what's the impact of the solar eclipse, because it just so happens that the folks from SeasonX, that's a tool that I use that takes a look at the seasonal patterns for so many different instruments. Uh, and sure enough, they had the solar eclipse as one of I their tools. It. So, oh, my God. So, this is the S&P 500 over a 96-year period. But the important thing is that there's 215 different solar eclipses um, that have occurred during this 96-year period. And the red vertical line shows us uh, where we're at today. And this would suggest that the market will finish higher today and really for the next three days out there. And then we see a bit of a dip. So it shows you 10 days before, 10 days after. So that's the S&P 500. That's pretty cool. Here's the Dow Jones, which really shows us the same thing, but this yeah. is 127 years and 279 events. So both of those are suggesting that we should see a rally. Uh, that's sort of what you had, I think, indicated in your in your opening out there. And yeah. even gold, you know, you talk about gold. Well, what's the impact of gold? So I only have 56 years worth of data that I can pull from. Okay. And uh, uh, here, this shows that gold should rally uh, really for the next couple of days out there. So this is the effect of the solar eclipse. So Silver, Steve, solar Steve, when we look, yeah. can you just when we look at these that those peaks there on the gold, can you put that back? Is that yeah. two days? Yeah, that peak right there. Is that two days? That peak? Or is... uh, I'll be get back here. Yes. So uh, one, cool. two. Three days. Three, three days. days. Awesome, now. man. Okay. Yeah, three, Good. Three, three day. Three. Three days yeah. from now is is what it's suggesting. You know, and this is on average out here. Oh, I know. Listen, but and, you know what? We're so tight up at this top, man. It's it's like. You know, I almost wanted to pull the trigger of going shot this morning. I said, don't do it. Don't do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I haven't been shot like it, I don't know, seven or eight months. This is, I think it's the longest I've ever gone not being shot. Uh, that's great. That's great. Well, if we take, I'll just kind of cruise through here. If we take a look at some of the charts. So, you know, here here's actually crude oil and the solar eclipse kind of flat. Yeah. This is what it says. U.S. dollar know. index okay. says it should move lower for a couple of days out here, yeah. kind of in line with, you know, what we saw with regard to gold or silver out here. Yeah. If we take a look at the actual stock chart. So this is kind of interesting. So at the same time that we're supposed to see the market still rally further, and you know, and if we take a look at gold today, Tom is going to complete on the daily time frame. And that's a chart on the left is going to complete a TD nine count top today. Okay. The weekly chart is right next door to it, and it's in bar number eight. And tops can form on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. You still have to form bar number nine out there, but it looks like gold will be able to do that. So we're actually getting these topping signals here, uh, both in the daily and the weekly time frame for gold. The case of silver, it's off for a little bit. So silver. I don't have on a daily time frame any kind of a topping signal just yet. We might by Wednesday, Thursday, but its weekly time frame is also in bar number nine of a TD9 count. So these are all suggesting, these charts here, gold yeah. and silver, are suggesting that we.
we could or should see some type of short-term top, so regardless of the solar eclipse out there. However, when we start taking a look at gold priced in these other currencies, and this chart here, the top shows us gold priced in euros, yen, pounds, and then uh, Chinese one. That's a daily time frame. The bottom panel is the weekly time frame. And we take a look at this on a daily time frame. This was as of about, uh, well, this is as of last Friday, uh, uh, this data here. So I don't have live data on this set of charts here. But price in euros, it negated a TD9 count top. Uh, and price in pounds, the same thing. Yeah. So we've got markets that are saying, even if we do move lower, it could be pretty tepid. Those, it those chats pretty look pretty intense, man. Those chats look pretty intense. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, we start going back and take a look at, hey, where could price go? Right now, this is the monthly chart. Here's got the horizontal trading range. If 23.39 fails, it says we could easily get up to 25.96. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great. It's going to be a blast watching these markets out here. There's no Avoid doubt. Gold and price in all these major currencies, Tom. It's, right now, everybody's a buyer. Big time. And get over to our website, folks. Right into featured content, maximum probability. Hit that button. Steve, have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. On a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument you have to practice sure but you also need excellent instruction from experts at TFNN you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis and it's not just dry tedious text either TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN educating investors this portion of the tom o'brien show is brought to you by directions daily leveraged and inverse etfs whether you're a bull or a bear you choose the direction visit direction.com investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio they are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 48, Nasdaq's up 29, S&P's are up 7.5. And, and uh, Jamie Dimon, so J.P. Morgan uh, Chase, been, he's been banging it out today because he had his uh, yearly letter come out. And inside that letter, it's pretty cool for where we are anyway. You know, this, the Tampa-St. Pete area uh, has not been uh, growing financially like the other coast, okay? Not even close. Um, the other coast has always had a lot more money, period. Uh, that being said, though, uh, bottom line is that it's pretty cool. You get J.P. Morgan, they have 6,000 employees in Tampa, and they are basically doing a, a reno uh, of the three buildings. They have a $210 million. So uh, bottom line is that uh, he plans on expanding down in, down in Tampa. He got, uh, let's see, got 6,000 in Tampa. I think they got 29,000 in New York, though. One second. Let's see. He has 14,000 in Florida, six in Tampa, 30,000 in, in Texas, 30,000. Look at that. So Texas has 1,000 more employees than New York. That must drive New York out of their mind, man. That's pretty intense. Wow. Uh, that and then inside his letter also what he came out with what was that he feels that uh, let's go uh, okay that ai jamie diamond said artificial intelligence maybe the biggest issue his bank is grappling with likened its potential impact to that of the steam engine and said that technology could augment virtually every job and so that's that's a fact folks okay you know this chat gbt if you haven't messed with it yet go go do it this is a this is this is a big deal. I mean, the, if you haven't done it yet, it just it doesn't cost anything. There's a, there's one that costs twenty bucks at GPT, but use the one that costs nothing first, so you can get used to it. Um, it it's a phenomenal deal, and I suspect I remember when. So pitch this. We were lucky enough, and that's how I got TFNN, you can imagine, when the internet just started, right? So when that just started, it ended up happening. I didn't even know what middleware was. But I remember I had a couple software writers in the office, and all they talked was middleware, that, ah, oh, the whole thing's going to be middleware. And sure enough, the middleware, that's what ended up happening. So you have the net, you have the middleware, then you have us, okay? That's kind of basically how it works. And all these apps and middleware. Well, this here is going to be everywhere, and there's going to, it's going to be the same type of situation, meaning that you'll get an app, and you won't even have to do anything, and you just, the, the key with artificial intelligence that I've seen so far is how many great questions can you ask, and how does, do they relate to the, the question before that? So when you start hunting and researching something, don't erase it because it remembers all of that also. So if you already have, you know, let's say lines that you've been working on for, you know, two or three hours, do not erase it. Just leave it there because the next time you go ask for anything, it's going to look at that plus look at everything else. So pretty wild. Now, let's go over to the interest rate structure because this is where this is getting really dicey. So if we take the 10-year right now, the 10-year today, 1.6 million contracts. We went to 109.02. Now, we broke the swing. And we didn't break it with volume. The volume's lightening up. We're going, we broke 2.3 with 1.6. Let me go to the 30-year. Thirty you do the same thing. So we did three hundred and eighty nine thousand, break in five forty. And the thirty year though came back inside the range. So that's saying that the note and bond market wants to pop tomorrow, the way that rejection is done. And if that's what we get. <laughs> and 
The dollar gave it up slightly today. But if the dollar keeps going south, which it looks to me like it's going to, then what's going to happen? Bottom line, S&P is going to go after its highs again. Gold's going to go higher. Silver's going to go higher. Commodities are going to go higher. And so the real kicker is going to be, do you just test the highs? Or does it get some juice in it? Meaning that you get some volume in it. Right now, it looks like it's just going to go test. And I don't even think it's going to make the high, actually. But, you know, we'll see what happens with that bond market. Yeah. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Some of the high of all. Hey, let's go to Tesla. So, <laughs> so Elon, he, he definitely knows how to... I mean, he's the ultimate in pump and dump. And he has been. And he just never gets called on it. And I think he's going to get called on it because of today <laughs> quite a bit. Because his stock's been going south, and <laughs> Tesla shares jump as investors buy into Musk's robo-taxi hype. So <laughs> when Elon Musk announced he'll unveil a Tesla uh, robo-taxi in August, it was a clear attempt to arrest the spiral on the once high-flying car maker. Tesla shares already had been sinking before the company reported anemic quarterly deliveries on April 2nd. Days later, Reuters reported that the automaker was shelving plans for a cheaper electric vehicle, so the chief executive officer turned to a Trident II playbook. Change the narrative by dangling a new product. <laughs> the shares jumped to late trading Friday and rose 5% uh, today. Yeah, I mean, I could go over and over this. You can't believe a word that Musk is saying. And I think his investors are starting to catch on to it. You know, because when you, when, you, when you look at Tesla, folks, okay, like today you get a bounce with uh, 95 million shares. You went down Friday with 143 million. Tesla's going after this $100 mark, man. And, you know, bottom line is that the high, 424, and this high volume low is just laying out here at 101.81. And, you know, it saved itself today. He knows himself because this came down to, you know, we get some support. You better get some support, man. The stock just went straight down from $300 <coughs> to the 160. Uh, but right here, this will build some cars. It's going to get down to that level. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You have the Dow. Dow industry is up 25. NASDAQ up 31. SP's up five. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow just shows up five, NASDAQ's up 16, SP is a flat. Uh, just give me one second, folks. Okay, so this one right here, right? I, I try to get the charts up, but. Yeah, it's it's too large. I see. All right, yeah, good. Thanks. No, there was that nitro. Okay, folks, there you go. We got the charts. Sorry about that, man. I can't believe I just did the whole program without shots. Of course, it's no good without shots. So, bottom line is that when you start looking at the note and bond market, to me, it, what it looks like here is that the note and bond market are going to pop tomorrow. If they pop tomorrow, that's going to relieve the selling pressure, which you can see that we hardly have any pressure at all, okay, because it's a sideways move. You put on top of that the aspect of the dollar going lower that is going to basically also send commodities higher in fact let's go, just go look at let's go look at the oil market right now let's see where this shakes out so we have oil trading 86 359,000 contracts Okay, so that broke, so oil's in ABC up. Let me figure this one out first. What, 83, 76, so you get seven bucks. That gets you 87, that's where we're at right now. So oil just finished in ABC up, CL1. Now let's bring this into a generic one. Let's spread this out. So, I'm putting on a 15-year monthly right now, folks. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, 95 bucks is game. My God. Yeah. I mean, this thing, that's how this is shaking out, man. You're at 86, 95 is game. You break 95, man. <laughs> you're gonna, then you're talking a whole different ball game. Let's go take a look at Exxon Mobil. So that's got to be hitting highs right now for sure. So you got Exxon trading 121. Put this on a 15 year. Oh, look at this. Ooh, this could be intense. Well, with Exxon, look at this. Well, this is quite, it's, Exxon right now, folks, okay, is busting its highs, and it only has to get a bit higher that there's really going to be action here. Let's see. This is telling me that oil actually is going to go to 95 bucks, man, which is wild. Yeah. And if Exxon busts this, holy cow, this could be, it's going to need more volume, but the bottom line is that you're right at it right now. It's 120, 119, right around here. 
next couple days are going to be a big deal. Because if, they, if this pulls away, then you very well could have an ABC up on Exxon. It would be a monster ABC up. It would be like a 65.A to B, which would end up being like 100 and 155 dollars. CVX. Let me just see Chevron. Okay, so Chevron's dealing trading 161. Hmm. This is this is pretty intriguing because what you have here is that Chevron already busted out but what you do have is that one sixty one this wants to go to one eighty nine but it's going to have a hard time first getting to one seventy so right now inside the uh energy complex i mean you know the the bottom line is that uh Exxon has overtaken Chevron as to basically strengthen the marketplace in a huge way too. Let's go to the GDX and see what's happening here. GDX. The volume continues in the GDX. Now what you have here, this is a this is about a cleaner chart as you can get. Yeah. The GDX broke its consolidation last week. You can see it broke it with huge volume too. I mean huge volume. We did uh, 163 million last week. Okay, the swing point was 75 million and, and 75 million, interesting. Oh, and 117 million. So right now the GDX is going after 36.28. And once it hits there, the bottom line is that the next move up there is gonna be into that uh, 42 area. And we'll see how it uh, basically handles that whole area. Because, you know, until it gets up to 45, it's really not going to get a lot of resistance. We start dealing with actually, when you actually start dealing with, what's that right there? Yeah, well, 49. When you start dealing with 49, you get some action there. But you got to remember, when we make it all the way up there, you can see there's hardly no volume up at the highs of 2010 and 2011, folks, okay? So depending on how we get there, it's going to be very easy to take those highs out. So what you like to do is like you like to get up near them, start building cars, going back and forth, consolidating, and then, of course, you're blown by them, and you're blown by them with volume. And... It looks to me like that, that's exactly what's going to happen because it's so unusual that, number one, that you, had, you have the run in gold when interest rate structure is still high, which is just amazing. You have the run in gold when, when the dollar is still holding up. And then on top of this, this, and this is the biggest one, you have the run in gold when the 10-year and the 30-year, okay, have just gone from... I mean, look at this 10-year. This is TY. So the 10-year has just gone from 113.28 to 109.09. And as rates continue to go higher, gold continues to go higher. So the bottom line is that if, in fact, this thing starts turning around again, meaning rates start going down again, <laughs> you're going to see the same thing. And what is wild, is there was a couple of stories over the weekend, folks, is that what is the stock market story? Because the story keeps changing. Me, I'm, now I'm going back to the S&P, because the story does keep changing, but the bottom line is that it has to do with notes, it has to do with bonds, it has to do with the U.S. dollar, and it has to do with each time that they move... It seems like when they just moved up, 
it didn't hurt the market. But then when they move down, meaning rates go down, dollar goes down, then the market goes bonkers topside. Gotta love it, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow uh, is down 8, NASDAQ's up 13, SP's a flat. Uh, DJT, <laughs> this is going to be wild just watching this whole thing shake out, folks. So in 10 days, 10 trading days, this has gone from uh, 79 to 36. So we'll see how this shakes out. Your next swing point here is 32.10. You crack 32.10, and then you start talking $17. So, and you got to remember something. So the, the, the value, well, the bottom line, the value of Sparks is $10. That's how it starts, okay? This particular company here, they lost $50 million in the year, and they only took in $4 million in revenue. So <laughs> you figure that out one, one out yourself. That, that, my take on that is just going to go straight all the way down. I think people have already figured it out that, guess what? It's not going to happen. You know, you had a million things saying, oh, they'll buy it, you know, to, for financing all that. It's, when money comes in like this in trading, folks, okay, the market overwhelms everything. You know, yeah, you have your meme stocks and that goes along, but the way that thing is set up right now, I, I don't think people are going to stay in that at 30 or $40 when you see those losses that are so extraordinary. 
What's going to happen out here today is going to get intriguing because what you do have is that you get a flat market. You don't have any buyers, you don't have any sellers. But because we went over the highs of Friday, that would be saying a market wants to try to go higher and you don't have, you have a huge contraction of volume. So that's a bearish occurrence. That being said, guess what? Just like when I went through the bonds, the notes, the bonds, and the dollar, I still wouldn't be going short the next couple days because that's telling me the note and bond's going to pop tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow. But if that's what happens, if they pop, meaning they go to higher price, lower yield, you'll see the dollar go down because right now we're at the highest yields in, let's see how long this is. Sorry, one second. Here we go. Yeah, in six months. Six months. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and uh, join Jacob tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.